pre-folds come in a big huge shell and here is the cat all right so Hey guys, it's Danielle, and today I'm going to do a video over the different types of cloth diaper options that you can use to cloth diaper your baby. Before I jump into this video, let's get the technicalities out of the way. My name is Danielle. Hi. I am the non-traditional mommy, and on this channel we just talk about all kind of different things. So go check out some more of my videos, and if you feel so inclined to join my little family, hit the subscribe button and join aboard. For the rest of my non-traditional family, you guys know that you are the MVPs and I love you bunches. Thanks guys for hanging in there with me. All right guys, let's talk about some different types of cloth, diaper, cloth diapering options. I am sure there are tons of other options out there besides the ones that I'm going to show you. One I know for sure, I do not have that kind of diaper. All right y'all, let me get my other disclosure out of the way. I apologize for any noise in the background for any craziness you might see as I record this video. here, So we will pretty much just talk about the functionalities of these diapers, how they work, the ease of use. I will probably use my whole epic method to talk about each of the diapers and all of that good stuff. So let's start talking about different cloth diaper options. Okay guys, so I'm not gonna go in any particular order, but I'm going to start with the best bottom snap-in diaper. I don't know if that's the technical term, but that is what we're going to call it. So the best bottom snap-in diaper system is basically a two-part diapering system. There is the insert and then there's the shell. And the way this diaper work is the shell has two little buttons so it's a button here and a button here and then the inserts have a button on the back and you basically just take the insert and snap it into the shell like so so that is how this particular diapering system works now the inserts come in uh, different sizes so they are not one size insert so that means you'll have to purchase multiple inserts they have newborn um, small medium large etc so keep that in mind when you're thinking about this system. Also, you have to use the best bottom inserts with this shell in order to snap it in. I have used pre-folds with this shell, but if you want the whole snap system, then you have to use the best bottom um, snap in insert with it. So let's talk about the pros and cons of this particular diaper. I love the best bottom system. This is the cloth diaper that I will typically keep inside of my diaper bag, mainly for the convenience and ease of use. So again, to use this diaper, baby has, you know, baby uses the bathroom. All you do is snap off the um, dirty diaper, put this in your wet bag. As long as the shell is clean or if you can wipe it down, you just wipe it off, get a clean insert snap it onto this shell and then you know put it on to the baby so the ease of use is just so easy and so convenient when you're out and about and i love that about this diaper i also love how compact and trim and thin this diaper is i mean look at that look how trim and compact this diaper is so and that's with the insert in it so what i will typically do is have multiple inserts inside of my diaper bag i usually have um one already ready to go with the insert snapped and then i'll have other inserts 
folded. I mean, again, look how compact that insert is. And then I will have an additional um, shell in my diaper bag as well. And then again, look how small that can get. So just, so I'll usually have multiple inserts and either an additional shell if the baby has a shell on already, or I'll have multiple inserts and two shells inside of my diaper bag. So this again is my number one cloth diaper for my diaper bag. All right, so let's talk about some of the cons with this particular diaper. I think the first con is going to be the price. You do have to purchase the shell and the insert separate. And then of course you're gonna have to buy multiple inserts because again, the inserts are not one size. The shell is one size, however, the inserts are not. I don't remember exactly how much this diaper was, but I will post it on the screen for you guys here, just so you can get an idea of how much this cloth diapering system is. So that is probably the biggest con is the price and the fact that you have to continuously buy inserts as your baby gets bigger. The other con for this diaper is there is like zero give. So if you guys can see, I mean, I'm pulling pretty hard. There is not any real elasticity of this diaper. And of course that wouldn't be an issue. However, there is only one row of snaps. In this diaper to fit those babies with those chunkier thighs can sometimes be tricky. So that can be a con um, as well. Those are probably the two biggest cons with this diaper. The other thing is this diaper is not and I repeat, is not a nighttime diaper system. This was not designed to be a nighttime diaper at all. So um, keep that in mind if you're thinking about nighttime diapering. If you're looking for something that can go from daytime to nighttime, then this is not going to be the diapering system for you. So again, that is the best bottom snap-in diapering system. And again, this is the diaper that I will typically carry in my diaper bag. And I did do a full review over the best bottom diaper. It was a long time ago, you guys, so I cannot guarantee that the um, video quality is the greatest. However, I still feel like it is a pretty good review. So feel free to go check that out. And if you guys would like for me to do an updated review on the best bottom diaper, then let me know in the comments below. All right, the next system I wanna talk about is the all-in-one diapering system. So I have a Bum Genius all-in-one and then a Lula Ray all-in-one diapering system and i did do full reviews on both of these diapers so feel free to go check those out if you want to hear about these diapers in more detail so the all-in-one diapering system basically means that the insert is attached to the diaper so it is a all-in-one diaper system. So on the Lula Ray, you can see here the insert is just attached at one end and then the other side is free. On the Bum Genius, the insert is attached to both sides. And so um, again, all in one basically means the insert is attached to the diapering system. Now, the all-in-one system is basically set up to mimic a disposable diaper. So this is going to be the best diapering system if you are going from disposals to cloth diapers, or you're just terrified of the whole um, cloth diapering system and you're worried about inserts and all of that. This is set up to make that transition easy for you. So let's talk about the uh, pros and cons of this diaper. So ease of use, of course, easy peasy because it is all in one. Essentially, baby uses the bathroom, you wipe the baby, you take the diaper off, put it in your wet bag, grab another diaper, put it on the baby, and you're done, you're free to go. It's over, no, no fuss, no hassle. So super easy um, to use. 
The other thing that I love about this diaper is um, it is a one size diaper. So just like the best bottom, it is a um, one size diaper. However, also like the best bottom, this diaper is not going to fit a newborn. Um, and I'm gonna show you how small this diaper gets, but it is not going to fit um, a newborn baby. So there you have it. So while it gets pretty small, I mean, look how bulky, you can kind of tell it's not designed to fit, you know, a tiny little newborn baby. But I do love the fact that it is one size. So you're not having to buy multiple, multiple diapers. Also, because the insert is attached to the diaper, you're not having to buy multiple inserts. So I do love that about the diaper. However, with that being said, this diaper is pricey. Now, Bum Genius runs about $25 per diaper, I believe. And again, I'm going to put the price on the screen here for you guys. But these diapers are pricey. The Lula Ray is more cost effective. These diapers were, I believe, $30 for a total of six. And again, I'll put the price on the screen for you guys here. So these were more cost effective. But if you're wanting Bum Genius, you're going to pay for the convenience of the Bum Genius. So that is a thing to keep in mind. And quite frankly, I think one of the biggest, biggest cons to the all-in-one diapering system. The other con to this diaper is, as you can see, there is no... Can you guys see that? There is no lead gusset. So what tends to happen is if you don't, you're not careful and make sure that the diaper is turned in here when you put it on the baby and it tends to be like this, when the baby um, you know, pees in the diaper, it's gonna get on their clothes. So that is one of the other cons. It's just the design. I wish there was a lead gusset um, on this diaper. So that is the other con to this diaper. This is the other diaper that I will typically carry in my diaper bag because again, the ease of use, the convenience, this is a diaper bag cloth diaper. You know, you simply, um, like I said earlier, you wipe the baby, you take it off, you put it in your wet bag, get another one, you're good to go. However, look how bulky this thing is, you guys. You see that? It is so bulky, so it takes up so much room in my diaper bag. So just to compare it to the best bottom, can you guys see that? You see the difference in the two of the bulkiness on these things? So that is why I will reach for my best bottom first and then the Bum Genius or the Lula Ray, the all-in-one, just because that extra, um, insert being stitched and stitched in there makes this diaper super super bulky however the convenience and the ease of use i'm going to throw this one in my diaper bag as well all right the next system i want to talk about is the pre-fold system so that is this handy dandy thing. And I do have a full review over the Cloth Ease um, newborn prefolds. So go check that out if you want to see prefolds in more action. But basically, a prefold is just a diaper um, that has the stitching already in it for the fold. If you guys can you guys see that stitching? So there's a cross and then there's down. And basically that just helps you, you know, fold it long ways like that or like so for a bigger baby and then this way for a smaller baby. So it just makes folding the diaper easy um, and quick to do. So let's talk about the um, pros and cons of the prefold. Next to my bum genius, this is my second favorite on the go diaper. I usually will keep these in my diaper bag as well. And why is that? Because like the butt, like the best bottom, I can throw several of these inserts into my diaper bag and then have a few of the shells like so. 
And then, you know, once the baby messes this up, toss this in the wet bag, grab another one and use the same shell. So that is why I carry these in my diaper bag as well. I just love them. They're convenient um, to have in your diaper bag. They're compact. They don't take up any room. And on top of using them as diapers, I can use them as burping cloths, um, clean up messes, napkins, whatever. So these are just versatile cloth diapers the other um the other thing i love is the cost these prefolds typically come in huge packs so you're usually going to get six to ten in a pack and i'm going to leave the price again on the screen below because i don't remember exactly how much they cost but um you can buy a huge pack of these and of course fold them to where they fit your baby from infant up now this is the econo bum pre-fold so they only come in one size cloth ease pre-folds come in multiple sizes and so you do have to buy uh, different sizes as your baby gets bigger so keep that in mind not all pre-folds are one size but if you get a larger one, you typically can fold it um, to where it can fit a um, infant. So one of the cons with a pre-fold is that you're going to need a way to close it. This thing is a lifesaver. This is a snappy and this is what I use on my pre-fold diapers to close it. This thing, you guys, is a life saver i mean it's just easy it's convenient um you saw me use it when i did the review on the cloth ease diaper but basically the way it works is your baby is laying down you fold the corners like so lift this up like so and then so you lift this up and then you snap pull that down and then you take your snappy there there and there and of course this is easier when you have it on a baby but it looks um like that so it looks like a diaper so that's how the snappy works so now of course being out and about that's a whole lot more work because you got to have a snappies you got to have the prefold you got to have the cover and then you have to put this on the baby first and then snap it and then put the cover so it is a lot more work which is why again i reach for my best bottom first but because they're so compact and because they're so versatile I just prefer to use these in my diaper bag even over the all-in-one diaper so they're also the other way that you can use the prefold is as you see in this shell there's an opening so if you don't want to have to fumble with the snappy you just simply fold your diaper over stuff it in Stuff it in. And there you go. You have your diaper and it's stuffed into the shell. So that is the other way to use a prefold. You just have a shell that you stuff and there you go. So a lot of times I will um, sometimes pre-stuff my shells. But again, when you do that, look at that bulk on that diaper. So very similar to the um, Bum Genius, as you guys can see. So keep that in mind. These can get bulky with the inserts on them. But I just love how convenient they are and how versatile they are. So I will usually have these in my diaper bag as well. So again, this is the pre-fold diapering system much like the prefold the other one is the fitted diaper there are fitted all-in-ones as well so there are some diapers that are fitted that are all-in-one i don't have any with me i used to have them um before my whole diaper catastrophe but they were infant size and um I cannot remember the name if the name comes back to me I will put it on the screen for you guys but I did have that particular diaper in a fitted for an infant um, for a newborn rather and it and I bought that because it had the um, 
umbilical cord cut out for it as well and all of that good stuff. So a fitted diaper is basically a sized diaper. So you have the one size and then you have the size diaper. And so basically what that means is these diapers typically will come newborn, small, medium, large, etc., etc. And then they're usually in stages. So they're usually like zero to three months, three to six months, or they're usually um, weight based. So for example, this one is weight based. So it is for 18 to 30 pounds and it is considered a size two. So the way the fitted work is you have snap closures here and every fitted is different. So this particular fitted again is weight. So 18 to 30 pounds. It does have an insert here and again this is a fitted um, fold diaper a fitted um, insert so uh, all in one fitted diaper all of this is going to be you know attached so it's gonna be one system but fitted I hope that makes sense you guys but essentially a fitted diaper it will usually have snaps and if it is based off of age or weight, it is going to have multiple snaps so that you can adjust it to fit your baby's um, weight and size. So this particular fitted diaper, it has snaps across and then over here, it has snaps across as well. Can you guys see that? It has uh, snaps across here and then basically you just snap it on like so. And then you take these two snaps to make it smaller. So if you're in the 18 pound size, which is the smaller for this, then that's what it's gonna look like. And then of course, because this is just the insert, you do need a cover um, for it. So you would put this on the baby and then you would, oh, that's backwards. And then you would put the shell on and boom there you go so that's what that looks like now let's talk about the pros these diapers are my nighttime diapers so and i will do a full review over these i literally just got these diapers not too long ago and y'all these are my nighttime diapers like this diaper and it it was sold as a nighttime diaper so that's what they sell it as they call it a nighttime diaper um and that is what it is like i cannot say enough good things about this diaper so i strictly use this diaper at nighttime this is not going to be a diaper and system that i would carry out with me um, it's just too bulky. It's um, not easy to put on and take off. I mean, it's too many buttons and things like that. So, but for nighttime, it is great. The other thing about this diaper with fitted diapers in particular is to keep in mind they're fitted. So you're gonna have to buy multiple diapers which can get costly. The whole purpose of cloth diapering, aside from us being kinder to the world and is gentler on our baby, is to save money. So with fitted diapers, you're gonna have to buy multiple diapers. I recommend that you do a fitted diaper that, similar to this one, only has two sizes. So this one, um, again, or I'm sorry, this one has three sizes. There is um, a zero, a one, and a two. So something that is, you know, not where they have all of these different stages and then you're having to buy, 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 buy. So keep that in mind with fitted diapers. You're going to have to purchase more as your baby gets bigger. So that is a kind um, for those diapers. And I will leave the uh, price for these diapers on the screen as well. The other thing, if you decide to just do a fitted insert and then a one size shell, which is the system that I have, then of course, you know, you have that whole system of putting the diaper on and then putting the shell on. So there is that extra step, which isn't, you know, a huge um, issue or thing. So the other type of diaper is the fitted diaper. All right, guys, the last diaper I'm going to talk about is the pocket diaper and it's a pocket diaper because it has a pocket so pocket diapers 
And this is a one size pocket diaper. So pocket diapers typically come with two inserts. Some come with one, but most of the time they're gonna come with two inserts and a shell. And I will leave the price again on the screen for the pocket diapers. Let's talk about the pros and cons to the pocket diaper. So the thing I love about pocket diapers is again, this is one of my diapers that I use for nighttime diapering. It comes with two inserts, so I love that about it. Most pocket diapers are gonna be um, one size, so the fact that it grows with the baby, I do love that about it as well. Um, these are the um, Alva Baby, which I did a full review over, and I love these. They're cost effective. Um, I've had several pocket diapers, and I just, t I just really like these in particular. Now, the cons about the pocket diaper is that you have to stuff them, and stuffing them is not fun. So, you take the diaper, and you guys, before I talk about stuffing, you always have to use both inserts. You cannot just use one insert. So, um, you take the diaper, or the insert, and you stuff it in there. And then I usually will grab here and then try to straighten it out with my hand like so, so that it's nice and smooth like that. So that's the first kind is you have to stuff these diapers. So unless you're gonna stuff when you're out and about, most of the times you're gonna pre-stuff and then put it in your diaper bag. Now, look at how bulky that is. So this is why I do not carry these in my diaper bags. Let's compare that to the Bum Genius. Look how much more bulkier this is than the Bum Genius. Now let's look at the best bottom. I mean, this diaper is just bulky when it's stuffed. The other thing is once the baby uses the bathroom, you have to, you guys, you have to take out the insert. You cannot wash these diapers with the insert inside. So again, unless you're going to take the insert out while you're out and about and then, you know, wrap it in here and put it into your diaper, your wet bag. Um, the other option is when you get home and you're doing laundry is to remember, oh yeah, I have to take out the insert because I didn't do it when I was out and about. It's just too much. And once you take the insert out, it's not like you can still use you know, this shell, it's ruined as well because it's cotton. So in my mind, you just use the best bottom. So um, that's, that's one of the things that, you know, I do not like about the pocket diapers. If you leave this diaper in, the insert in and wash it, what ends up happening, and I don't know how it happens, but somehow the insert ends up rolled up and all the way at the bottom like that. Which means it didn't get clean and then you gotta go in and pull it out and again, it's not fully clean so you need to um, you know, rewash it or whatever. So you have to remember to take out the inserts which is a pain if you're out and about. So I typically will use these as nighttime diapers. So again, this is the um, pocket diapering system. All right, so now that we've talked about all of the systems, let's talk about, in this video, I'm, I'm gonna hope that it's not too long. Hopefully you guys have hung in there with me this long. Um, but I wanna make sure that I'm giving you all the information that I can. So let's just talk about which one of these diapers is best for a husband, kids, babysitters, daycares, things like that. Because if your baby has to be left with dad or um, you know taking a daycare or grandma or anybody that's gonna be using the cloth diapers, you wanna know which one is the best. Now, my husband typically will always, if he has to have the baby for a long time, he's gonna go buy disposables. That's just what he does. And when he buys them, he usually buys a big box and then we just keep those in the house for him to use whenever he has to change the baby. However, if he has to use a cloth diaper, he is going for this one, always. All in one, he doesn't have to think about it, he doesn't have to put an insert, he doesn't have to snap, 
uh, inserts in, take inserts out. So hands down, the all-in-one diapering system is going to be the best diapering system for family, friends, daycares, those type of things. The next option is gonna be the best bottom option because again, it is easy to just snap in, snap out type thing. If they um, change the baby, if you have multiple shells and things like that, it's not hard to, once you're washing, to just unsnap the, um, the liner and throw it in the wash. The rest of these, I'm gonna say a no-go for family and friends. The pocket diaper can work if you're gonna pre-stuff and leave them there, but keep in mind, most people are not gonna reach their hands in and take out the insert for you and all of that good stuff. So definitely keep that in mind with this one. So for family and friends, all in one is going to be the way to go. Diaper bag. I've said it a million times, I'm gonna say it again, it's gonna be some type of system like this. I don't know if there's other companies like Best Bottom that makes the snap-in closure, but Best Bottom for diaper bags is the winner. The other option is going to be the all-in-one if you're just wanting something easy, and then of course the pre-fold diaper. As far as washing, um, and those type of things. The easiest is gonna be the all-in-one because you don't have to take any inserts, insert anything, you just dump it in the washer, it's good to go. Next is gonna be your best bottom, obviously, just because it's pull-pull, and then of course your pre-folds because you just throw those in. These, of course, you gotta remember to take the insert out of the pocket, and then of course, same here, remember to remove, um, this from the shell or whatever the case may be. So as far as washing, all in one is gonna be the winner for that. Cost effective, it is absolutely gonna be pre-folds and a shell. Just because pre-folds come in a, a large pack and then you, you, know, you get multiple pre-folds and a few shells and you're good to go. So these are going to be the most cost effective diaper. I would say next in line to that, would probably be the pocket diapers just because um, they're one size, you get two um, inserts with it, so these are going to probably be next in line for price. The rest of these can start to get pretty pricey and expensive um, as well. As far as going from daytime to nighttime, I'm going to go with the pre-fold again. These are what I use when I need extra layer of protection in my pocket diapers or in my bum genius. Um, I typically will use the pre-fold. I mean, you can just fold it to make it however thick you need it for your um, child. And so these, and again, you use them during the day, you use them at night. These are going to be, for me, the most interchangeable diaper from going from daytime to nighttime. The next one, as much as I say, I will not carry these in my diaper bag, but if you're like, I'm only buying one style of diaper, it's going to be the pocket diaper next. Because obviously they work at night, which means they're gonna work during the day. So this is definitely a great diaper system to go for if you want something that's gonna go from day to night, you want something that other people will use, you know, pretty fairly, and you want one size and all of that, then a pocket diaper can definitely be your everything diaper. If you just want one diaper to do everything, it is definitely going to be this pocket diaper system. So, those are the different style diapers. There is flats as well. I don't have any flats, um, but I will put a picture of a flat on the screen for you guys just so you can see it. But the flat is very similar to the pre-fold. The only difference is it's not um, already, you know, has the seams in it for you. It's just a flat um, insert. So that's the only difference between the two, but I don't have any flats, but that is the other diapering system. So there you guys go. Those are the main kind of diapering systems. If you guys have any questions in um, relation to cloth diapering in general or any of these diapers, 
feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer them if you would like to see um, a more in-depth video I have done one on these two already and I have in the past done one on these I will soon be doing one over these for you guys but if there's something else you would like to see then feel free to leave that in the comments below as well as always you guys thank you so much for watching if you have not joined the family then please hit the subscribe button and join my little family thank you guys and i will see you in the next one bye